Welcome back to Catholic Plus, where we are finding faith in fun. Join me as we mine entertainment for the treasures of our faith to serve you and the new evangelization. Today, we are continuing in our fifth out of seven video series, looking at the movie Captain America, The First Avenger, and pulling out Catholic elements that we find in that movie to inspire us. If you like Catholicism and Marvel, click that like button. And if you'd like to see more from Catholic Plus about Marvel, Star Wars, and more, click the subscribe button and tap the bell icon. Following Steve's transformation into Captain America, instead of fighting, Steve ends up on stage in a costume trying to sell bonds for the war effort. Similarly, we can also be degraded into a condition far below our dignity as children of God. Steve senses the caricature he has become, and this will eventually be resolved. He dances around, putting on this show, and the situation becomes more obvious to Steve that his vocation is something so much greater than the caricature he is currently performing as. Especially when he is on the front lines in Europe, staring into the eyes of the true soldiers fighting this war. They mock him because they know he is all song and dance, just a show. And deep down, Steve knows he is far more and called to something better. In a conversation with Peggy, he suggests that his only options are to either be stuck in a lab or performing on stage. Peggy's response is, And these are your only two options? A lab rat or a dancing monkey? You were meant for more than this, you know. As they watch soldiers being brought back from the front lines, who are killed or wounded from battle, Steve senses his true vocation. Just as when Steve is speaking to soldiers on the front line, it sinks in more deeply what his calling really is, and that this is not it. I think we can sense the same in our own lives. When we are not being what God has called us to be, and when we are just a caricature of the best version of ourselves, we know when we are called to more. Steve soon finds out that the men he was performing in front of was the 107th, his best friend, Bucky's division, and Bucky was not there. Steve goes to confront the colonel, and he finds out that Bucky is neither dead nor has returned, so he must have been captured. They know where the captured men are being held, but trying to save them would lose more men than they could possibly save, so the colonel is not planning a rescue mission other than just winning the war. But that's not good enough for Steve. Peggy helps him get a plane ride with Stark to jump into enemy territory. On the way, their plane gets shot at before they get anywhere near the drop zone, and our new Captain America jumps out of the plane early so that Stark and Peggy can get back out of danger and avoid being shot down. Here, Captain America's selflessness, putting himself in greater danger for the protection of Peggy and Stark, is heroic. Of course, Captain America successfully infiltrates the compound, and he saves the men. He finds out that Bucky has been taken deeper into the compound, so he goes deeper looking for him. Steve's loyalty to Bucky is incredible. As the other soldiers fight their way out and the battle ensues, Schmidt discovers that Captain America is there, and he prepares the station to self-destruct. Schmidt himself prepares for evacuation, and Captain America finally finds his friend Bucky. After an already heroic act, Steve now has to get Bucky out, but on the way, he and Bucky confront Schmidt. This is typical at the heart of great heroism, that we must confront the greatest of evils. Every hero story that follows this pattern is an imitation of the victory Jesus Christ won on the cross. Schmidt removes his mask, and we finally get to see our villain for whom he truly is. This is typical of the devil to hide himself in a disguise until we are able to see him unmasked. Schmidt mocks Steve as deluded, as if Steve could actually save everyone, just like Satan would have confronted, tempted, and mocked Jesus during his passion, as if Jesus could really save everyone. And yet Jesus is in the process of going to the depths to confront evil to save all of us, much like Steve is doing here in this compound. Eventually, the soldiers freed by Captain America return to camp victorious. What we find from this scene is Captain America sacrificing his own safety for the benefit of these captured soldiers whom allied forces could not save, but Captain America knew he could. 
Responding to his calling as more than just a show monkey or lab rat, Captain America becomes who he was meant to be. This journey of his character is recognized and applauded by those around him, which is also true for us. When we become the heroes that we're supposed to be, people will recognize. However, even becoming a hero and rising to our vocation will also be met with resistance, even from those who are on our same team. This could take the form of our parents or our siblings who do not understand our calling to become maybe a priest or religious, or friends who do not understand our commitment to our faith in Jesus Christ. Captain America encounters his own resistance in The Colonel. What blows me away is how Captain America responds to the situation. When he approaches the colonel, he says, I'd like to surrender myself for disciplinary action. Captain America recognizes that he has violated orders against a legitimate authority. So seldom in our world do people recognize legitimate authority in our lives, and we choose to disobey instead. Captain America's humility here is an incredible example of virtue to us all. Recognizing his contribution, the colonel says that will not be necessary. Captain America wins not only the respect of his fellow men, but also the heart of Agent Carter. Now, the story of Captain America may be a little bit cheesy, but it illustrates profound spiritual points for us to recognize and imitate. What do you think of this analysis? And did I miss anything? Comment below so that we can share more spiritual insights together. If you're proud to be Catholic and a fan of Marvel, like, subscribe, and click that share button to help evangelize with us. Special thanks to all Catholic Plus patrons who make Catholic Plus possible. And if you'd like to see the gifts you can receive by supporting Catholic Plus too, check out our Patreon page in the description below. May God be with you always.